It is finally game day. The defending Super Bowl champs from Kansas City taking on the San Francisco 49ers at Allegiant Stadium. Three players with Iowa ties in today's big game. The focus, of course, on the quarterbacks, Kansas City quarterback Patrick Mahomes. The 49ers led by Iowa State graduate Brock Purdy. ABC's Melissa Adan has the very latest on the game from Las Vegas in our top story at 530. Las Vegas, Nevada, all set to host its first Super Bowl ever. Super Bowl 58, a rematch between Kansas City and San Francisco. Their last Super Bowl meeting, the Chiefs winning in a thriller. 49ers fans hoping for a different outcome this year. Come on now, this is our time to redeem ourselves. You know, I'm excited to be able to witness my 49, our 49er team take down the Kansas City Chiefs. Over 70,000 excited fans expected to pack Allegiant Stadium. Hundreds of thousands more will be watching from hotels and bars along Sin City's iconic strip. Some of those fans from a house divided. How long have you been a Chiefs fan? Oh, since I was born. <laughs> How long have you been a 49ers fan? long time ago since I was a kid. Around the world, over 100 million people expected to tune in. In addition to the excitement on the field, there are some big stars performing. Country music legend Reba McIntyre will kick things off singing the national anthem. And Usher is all set to headline the halftime show. The R&B icon confirming he won't be alone during his performance, but exactly who will join him on stage will be a secret until showtime. Pop superstar Taylor Swift will also be at the game, but not to perform. Social media abuzz saying she flew more than 5,400 miles across the world after her final show in Tokyo, landing Saturday in Los Angeles. Swift will be in the stands showing support for boyfriend Kansas City Titan Travis Kelsey. Players and coaches from the Lahaina Luna High School football team will serve as the honorary coin toss captains. An amazing feat after the community there in Maui is recovering from the wildfires. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Las Vegas.